Okay, so what we're going to do is, we've looked at running totals before in some other videos if you've looked at them, but this time we're just going to concentrate on this keeping a running total. So, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user to enter the weight in kilograms of five items. Now, if the total weight, so sorry, I should stress that, if the total weight is over 25 kilograms, then we'll display a suitable error message. So, we're going to need a few variables here, and what we're going to say is at the start, the total, var the total is zero. So what we're going to use here is a, a quick loop, just five times to say individual item weight equals, and we're going to say it's an integer and it's an input and we're going to say please enter the weight. We're going to close the speech marks, close the brackets and close the other brackets. Now that will add that will ask a use 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 user to put in their five kilos. Uh, sorry, their five weights. But what we're going to need to say is that the total equals whatever the total was before, which was in this first time was zero, plus the variable called item weight. Now what that will do is that will keep a running total. So at the end, we can actually say that if the total was over twenty five. You can say something like, sorry, the parcels are too heavy. Else, we'll just copy and paste that line there. We'll say, parcel weight is fine. So if we just save this and run that, we'll first of all, we'll test it to be under 25. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So the weight should be 9, 3, 12, 2, 14, and 15. So if we're going to run it now and make sure that the weight is 25 exactly. So 20, 21, 22, 23, and if I put in 2, it's 25. So that's fine as well. And we'll just test it with some exceptional data by putting in a, massive, a few massive numbers. So that's a running total without an array. And we'll just look at how to do a running total with an array. Okay, so I've just adapted that program slightly where I have an array called weights with five random seeded, seeded val values in it. Um, now obviously we could have asked the user to put them in and keep a running total whilst we are going. And we covered this in the array section, but this time we're just going to assume that they're already there. So inside my loop, just like before, what we're going to need to say is that total equals whatever total was plus we basic basically want to add if I just type the code out we really want to add weights 0 plus weights 1 and so on and so on and up up to 4 so what we say is that what we want to do is total plus weights and we want to use the, the variable called counter and that would make sure that our program runs just as before except that we don't need to input it. Now if you do want to shorthand a little bit you can say plus and equals and that means we can take out total. That's basically shorthand for saying total equals total plus weights. So that looks at a running total by in using an array.